Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining the Zoom with Miss Haley last Sunday. In this video, I will help you review how to make a presentation for students studying in Native 1, 2, Speed 2, and Pro 2 for the August event. Now, let's go. In this video, I'm going to talk about the topics first. For those who haven't chosen the topic, please listen to it. And I will go to details for the two topics, which are taking care of myself and introduction to the moon, the lunar cycle, or we also call it the phases of the moon. Now, so for the first theme, I mean the main topics. There are four main topics for you to choose. Number one, autumn. Number two, festival. Number three, new school year. And number four, last summer vacation. So in autumn, there are many things you can talk about, such as the changes of the season from the summer to autumn. Uh -huh. And also you can talk about what you like to do in this season. For the festival, you can talk about the Mid-Autumn Festival. All children like it, right? Also, we have the Wulan Festival and Thanksgiving. But I guess most of you would choose Mid-Autumn Festival. For the new school year, as you know, in September, we will go back to school. And to prepare for the school year, what have you done? And the last one, also the easiest one, the last summer vacation. I guess now is almost the end of the summer vacation. So what did you do? What was interesting? So let's tell us in your presentation about these four topics. And if you still don't know what to do, I will show you the list of topics here. This is just about number two, the Mid-Autumn Festival. In this part, there are many topics for you to choose. Now, if you want to talk about lanterns, well, you can choose number three here, the lantern decoration ideas. I have an interesting idea, which is that you can make your own lantern and then you will present your idea to make a lantern. It's very interesting to have something to do and to talk about. Now, if you love lion dance, or dragon dance, you can make a video about that. There are many things to talk about a lion dance. First, describe the lion. How many people should we see, should we use for a lion dance, right? Now, and then, where can you watch the lion dance? And when, uh-huh. And last one, Remember to tell us about your feelings. Now, coming to the next one, the traditional mooncakes. I guess most of us love the mooncakes. It's one of the best part ever of the Mid-Autumn Festival, right? So to talk about that, you can mention the shape of the mooncakes. Uh-huh. What ingredients do you eat? Uh-huh. Now, next, we will talk about the taste. Of course, right? When we talk about the food, please mention the taste. You can say it's delicious, it's yummy, it's tasty. Or do you like the sweet flavor? Uh-huh. Or do you like the salted eggs? It's up to your choice, right? 
I've guessed Big Lantern, Decoration, Ideas, Lion and Dragon Dance, and Traditional Mooncakes are the three main topics for the Mid-Autumn Festival that you can use. Also, if you want to make your own mooncake, I guess this one is very hard, but if you can, you can talk about the homemade natural mooncake recipes. And I guess you will have a lot of bonus points for that. Mm -hmm. And also, there are many others, such as traditional mid-autumn games. What do you do there? And how can you play the game? Where do you play it? And what is special about the games played in this festival? Also, you know the story about Impress Han and the Banyan tree, right? I guess most Vietnamese students know the story in Vietnamese. But in this contest, you have to tell the story in English. So please prepare for that if you are a person who loves stories, especially folk stories of Vietnam. Next, we also have the mid-autumn party. If you love it, just share, okay? And if you love how people celebrate the mid-autumn, autumn festival all over the world you can choose the number 12 here you can choose topic number 12 to talk about the mid-autumn festivals around the world for example in korea china yeah i guess it would be interesting to listen to the differences between those countries now what about the specific topics for us, for those who are learning Speed 2, Pro 2, and Native 1, Native 2, we have listed some ideas for you here. Number one, the trees changes from summer to autumn. As you learn, we have a topic about the weather and seasons, right? So you can include the trees changes in the topic about that. We have the vocabularies related to that, right? Now, number two, you can introduce the moon faces. Number three, you will talk about the characteristic animal species. As we know, in Pro 2, Speed 2, we have baby animals and the animals. So you all have the vocabularies to talk about this, the animals in this season. We can see the rabbit uh -huh, and some other animals that we usually see in autumn. Now, for number four, we can talk about the traditional costumes for the mid-autumn festivals. Number five, Autumn is associated with emotions. You know, when autumn comes, people feel sad. Uh huh. Because maybe because of the the leaves changes, or maybe because the leaves fall from the tree. Next, we can talk about the first day of school. As we know, we have a topic called school, and you can talk about how you prepare for the first day of school, your feeling about that. Maybe you are excited to go back to school, or maybe you also want to stay at home more, like you still want the summer to last longer. Number seven, you can talk about a trip or some memories you have from this summer. I guess it would, I guess it would be very interesting. Hmm? And number eight, well, you should take care of your body in autumn. And this is also the topic I will help you in this video. Now, 
Let's take a look at it. Here. Before we go to the presentation, I would like to tell you how to make a sentence longer. Usually, when we answer a question, we would answer directly, right? For example, what's the weather like in autumn? We usually say, oh, it's cool, it's rainy, or maybe in some cities, it's hot, right? But now, let's try to make it a bit longer to make your presentation more interesting. Now, let me help you with this. So what's the weather like in autumn? Let's take a look at this. It's cool. So I usually wear a t-shirt with short jeans. Sometimes I also wear a jacket when I go out on windy days. As you can see, I attach the weather with what you wear, right? So you can do the same thing. For example, when you talk about the summer, so it's hot. You wear maybe a t-shirt and maybe shorts, right? So remember to make it longer, to think the weather will make the changes or will affect something else. Next. The next question would be, what do you like to do? Hmm, now most people would say, oh, I like going camping, I like going shopping, but that's a bit short. Now, let me help you how to make it longer. Now, let's say where. I like going camping in the park. When, I would say, well, the autumn is the best time of the year to have a camping trip as the weather is cool. And what do you bring with you? I prepare food, a lot of food for the camping trip with my family. And don't forget to include your feelings as well. I feel very happy to spend time with my family. And that's it. You have a longer part, right? You have longer sentences to answer one question. Please remember this, okay? Now, we will go directly to the presentation. Now, I will help you talk to talk about taking care of your body in autumn. But... We can use the information from number one to talk about number eight as well. So let's see how I use two topics in one presentation. Now, let's go. So for the first topic, taking care of myself, we have some vocabularies. Now, let's take a look. Number one, Mid-Autumn Festival. Please repeat after me. Mid-Autumn festival. Thank you. Now, we also have another festival. Halloween. Halloween. So, what do you do with a festival? We celebrate it. We celebrate a festival. Now, everyone, celebrate. Celebrate. Next, we have a big day in Vietnam. You all know it, right? On September the 2nd, we call it the Independence Day. The Independence Day. A very big day, so you can talk about that as well. Now, moving on to something you can eat. The first one may be familiar with those who are from Hanoi. We have gom or the green sticky rice. Now, let's repeat after me. Green sticky rice. Number two is a kind of fruit. 
Now, pomelo, pomelo, or we have grapefruit, grapefruit. Number three, we have the mooncakes. Yep, as you can see here, the delicious mooncakes, right? And number four, we have pumpkin, pumpkin. Pumpkin is attached with a Halloween. So remember this kind, okay? Now, of course, when we talk about a presentation, we have to remember the three part. Number one, opening. Number two, body. Number three, conclusion. Now, number one, opening. Number two, body. And number three, conclusion. Now, let's take a look at it. For the opening, you can use a song or a poem to make your opening impressive. For example, this is a poem about autumn. Now, moving on to the song, I will show you the song so that you can listen to it. Now, let's see. Look, up there, in the tree. How many leaves do you see? How many leaves in the tree? Let's all count them. One, two, three. How many leaves do you see? I see one leaf in the tree. I see two leaves in the tree. I see three leaves in the tree. Let's all count them. One, two, three. What color leaves do you see? What color leaves are in the tree? Let's I'll count them one, two, three. What color leaves do you see? I see a red leaf in the tree. I see an orange leaf in the tree. I see a yellow leaf in the tree. Red, orange, yellow, one, two, three. Yes, and that's the song you can use at the beginning of your presentation. I believe that the song will make your presentation much more impressive. Now, after singing the song, to begin, a, to begin your presentation, we will go to the outline. Mm -hmm. So, in the outline, you should include these ideas. Uh -huh. The time of the autumn in Vietnam is actually between September and November. And you should talk about the weather first because the weather will affect what you wear. Okay? So maybe in the north of Vietnam is a bit cool, windy, and sunny, but in the center and the south of Vietnam, is a bit different, right? Now, moving on to the body. You can include some activities. For example, we celebrate or we enjoy the Mid-Autumn Festival. We go back to school. We join the Halloween party. We go camping on the weekends. Or we celebrate the Independence Day, etc. Now, so how should you take care of yourself? There are many ways, but remember, you should make the ideas, you should separate the ideas into separated parts. For example, here, number one, when going outside, which means when you go out, what should you remember to prevent yourself from getting sick? 
right? We don't know. We don't want to get sick. So, what do you have to remember when you go out? First, when you go out on Sunday days, you have to wear a hat, wear sunglasses, right? And also, you put on sunblock. What about on rainy days? Ah, use an umbrella or bring a raincoat. And on cool and windy days, we have to put on warm clothes. Yes, and that's how you should order the ideas. Now, so besides going out, you have to remember things you have to do every day to take care of yourself, right? So if you don't want to get sick, what should you do every day at home? Now, of course, number one, keep your body clean. Wash your hands regularly. Take a bath. Yes, and you do you remember the lesson called good habits? Yeah, use the vocabularies you learned in that lesson. Okay. For example, you eat healthy food, you drink enough water, you do exercise, go to bed early. Now, and for your house, remember, you have to clean the house as well. Please include the environment where you live. So, for more information, if you want, you can talk about what you do when you get sick. Uh huh. So when you get sick, what do you do to recover better? Oh, when having a flu or cold, remember to go to the doctor or take some medicine and take some rest. Or if you want to prevent the flu, please get a flu vaccine. Okay, and uh, if you have, if you feel sick. Please talk to your mom and your dad. Okay, and last one, you can talk about the conclusion. I love to take care of my body in autumn when the weather is changing. Right. Thank you, everyone, for listening. Yes. Now let's see how a real presentation look like. Mm -hmm. Here. I would like to read a poem first, and then I would say hello, everyone. Remember, whatever you do, you have to include yourself and the topic in this part. Now we can say hello, everyone. My name is Haley. As you know, the leaves change the color in autumn. The weather changes too. That's why. We need to take more care of our bodies. Today, I'm going to tell you about how I care for my body in autumn. Also, you can put this part at the end of the paragraph. I mean, put it here. Uh huh. So it sounds more impressive as we talk about the topics, right? So we put the topic at the beginning. It's fine. Uh huh. Okay. It's totally fine if you do that. So it's up to your choice because I guess most people would say hello. My name is blah blah blah. It sounds a bit boring, you know. Now moving on to the body. The first part I would talk like to talk about the weather. Hmm. As I talked about the weather here. We mentioned the transition, which means the change from the summer to the winter. We have to go past autumn, right? And here we talk about the things, the activities you can do. For example, go back to school. And also, we talk about the festivals, right? The festivals, including the Mid Autumn, Halloween, the National Independence Day as well. 
So that's what you want to include in the body paragraph. You can take a look at it as well at home by choosing pause and read it carefully. Now, because we have the changes in the weather, because the weather changes in this season, taking care of myself is very important here. And then you would you will tell us how you take care of the bodies here from this part to this part, okay? So I wish I wouldn't get any colds. I wouldn't get sick this year. That's how you should talk about how to keep yourself healthy in this season. And last one, remember to say thank you at the end, okay? Don't forget to say thank you. Now, for those who are a bit older, I have a hard question, sorry, a hard topic for you to choose, which is the lunar cycle, or we also say the phases of the moon. Now, this part is really difficult. So, everyone, do you remember the solar system that we learned in the last lesson of Speed 2? So, if you know it, you can use this topic. But if you haven't reached that, maybe this one is a bit hard. Uh huh. So, this is not really recommended for those who haven't learned the presentation in Speed 2 and Pro 2. Now, let's go to some vocabularies. First one, we have sphere. Sphere. Number two, natural. Natural. Here, we have the tide. The tide means like in the afternoon, the sea level will rise because of the moon. Now, next, we have bright. Bright. The light is bright. Next, you know, shine on or reflect. When the sun, you know, the sun shines on the moon. And the moon will reflect the light to the earth. That's how we see the moon. Next, we know move around, right? So the earth moves around the sun and the moon moves around the earth. So we can also have another word, orbit. Orbit. Now, we have some more words. If you want to take a look, please see the video again. We have the lunar eclipse the blood moon, the gravity, the giant, which means very big, giant, very big, a slice, a slice, and an astronaut, astronaut. This one is a job. Now, here are the eight phases of the moon. Well, there are quite a lot, right? eight phases of the moon but in this picture it's really cute right you can use your cookies to make the pictures of phases of the moon and if you want people to remember the eight phases of the moon carefully i recommend you to play this song Here, please listen to this song if you want to talk about the faces of the moon. You can also use this song at the beginning of your presentation. Now, let's listen to a part of it. There are eight faces of the moon. Oh, kids on.
there. Hi. Now you can see eight faces of the moon, right? Now it's easier to remember the names. So these are not really problems anymore, right? So watch the video and find more words to describe them in the video or in the song I showed you. Now, for the outline, first, of course, in the opening, you will introduce yourself and the topic as well. Mm -hmm. Now, for the body part, what do you need to do? First, we cannot talk about the eight phases of the moon if people don't know what the moon is. So, first, remember to introduce the moon. Now, we should talk about where the moon is and the shape, how big it is at the same time. Now, moving on, we talk about the phases of the moon, like the eight phases. As you can see, you will use the vocabularies you learn from the song. What is the phases of the moon? How long? And what is a lunar phase? How many lunar phases? And tell me about them. Also, if you can, remember this part is just a recommendation for you, okay? You don't have to cover all of them. You can choose maybe a, B, uh -huh. or you can choose A, B, C, or you can choose A, B, D. You don't have to say A, B, C, D at the same time. So now for part C, maybe you can talk about the lunar eclipse. This one is a bit hard, but if you can, it would make your presentation very, very fun. I believe so. And for part D, changing colors of the moon. This is a bit interesting because the moon is not like look white or it look like dark all the time. Sometimes it has some special colors. So you can talk about that here. Uh -huh. What colors can the moon have? And which color do you like the most? Uh, moving on, if you can search on Google. You can tell us about some interesting facts about that. Or you can talk about your feelings when you see the moon in part F here. And of course, please include the conclusion. Thank you and goodbye at the end. I know it's a bit hard, so I would like to read the sample for you. Now, please listen to the first part, the opening, the body, and the conclusion of it. Now, for the opening, I would like to introduce the topic. Now, let's listen. Space lovers will surely love the topic I will talk about today. Not the sun, not the earth. This is something children would love to see, especially when the Mid-Autumn Festival is coming. Can you guess what my topic is? It is about the moon and the phases of the moon. Hi, my name is Haley, And today, phases of the moon is my topic. Well, our solar system has eight planets. This is the first part of the body, everyone. Now, we move on to the body. In the body, you will introduce the moon first. What is the moon? I would say our solar system has eight planets. Our planet is called the Earth. Uh -huh. And it is the third in the solar system with a bright moon around it. The moon is a sphere and is very bright. Talking about size, the Earth is four times bigger than the moon. You can see the moon is pretty small compared to the Earth. Well, interestingly, the moon can even make the water move, which creates tides. Okay, so that's the introduction to the moon. Now, 
talking about the phases of the moon. I have the sample paragraph here. Now let's read with me. The phases of the moon is the time for the moon to finish one round around the Earth. One lunar cycle is about twenty nine point five days. When looking at the moon from the Earth, the moon looks different at different times. It could look like a full circle, a thin slice, or even completely dark. These changes are lunar phases or the phases of the moon. There are eight lunar phases. Sorry, eight lunar phases, which are new moon, waxing crescent, first quarter, waxing. Gibbous, full moon, waning gibbous, third quarter, and a waning crescent. Oh, everyone, please remember the name of it. You cannot look at the paper to read it out. Okay. Now continue. Moving on. Now, however, moon's shape doesn't change. It's just because. The sun shines on different parts of the moon, so the part we cannot see is the part that the sun doesn't shine on. Okay, so that's all about the phases of the moon. Now you can also add some part to make your presentation more interesting. Uh huh. For for example, as I said, the lunar eclipse. During the lunar eclipse, Earth comes between the sun and the moon. This is the Earth. This is the sun, and this is the moon. Okay, so blocking the sunlight from falling on to the moon. We can see the lunar eclipses from two to five times a year. Uh huh. So moving on, this is about the lunar eclipse. You can also talk about the blue moon or the blood moon if you want to know about that. And if you want to take a look, you can see this paragraph. Okay. Now moving on to the conclusion. Oh, we also call the ending of a presentation. And here I make a pretty long present. Sorry, a pretty long conclusion for you to take a look. Now. We can say I enjoy looking at the moon so much, especially on full moon days. On these days, the moon is really big, and it's round like a giant ball in the sky. Well, everyone, if you compare the moon with a giant ball, the picture look makes the presentation looks more vivid. Okay. Now I really want to be an astronaut so that someday I can go there, see the sky more clearly, and even eat the mooncakes right on the moon. I can have sorry. I have also heard that the gravity on the moon is just one sixth of the gravity on the Earth, so our bodies will be much lighter. That's really interesting, right? I can't wait to grow up to walk on the moon. Thank you, everyone, for listening. Yes, and thank you so much for joining the presentation with me. Now, remember when you present, please remember that you cannot hold a piece of paper. Please look at the screen and video your full body or a part. Of it, so that we know that you are really presenting to us. Also, remember, be confident, everyone. You are all good, and you will have a lot of experience joining this event. So just try your best and be confident. I believe you can do it really well. Good luck, everyone. Goodbye.